All right, well, here we go again with another uh, one of my videos. Uh, once again, I'm just uh, blessed and excited. Uh, I'm just honored to be able to share things with you. And I just really, you know, I really consider it a privilege just to just sit down and, and talk with people and share the things that I believe the Lord has put on my heart through many years. You know, he's, uh, you know, given me all kinds of dreams and visions and showed me all kinds of things. I've seen so many things come to pass before, you know, they ever happened. And uh, anyways, it's been great. Uh, through that time, I've been able to put a lot of these revelations in different books that I've written. So I've got uh, Volume 1, uh, Dreams in the Spirit, Following Your Dreams Toward Your God-Given Destiny. I mean, just that alone. Now, I don't believe you follow every dream because, you know, the devil gives dreams. In fact, one of these days I'm going to write a book. In fact, I think one of these videos, maybe you look for it, I'm going to call it How to Tell If Your Dream is from God the devil or the pizza that you had the night before because you know everybody dreams in fact if you don't it's nothing wrong with you it's just that you probably just don't remember but most of us do dream to some degree and you know a, a lot of our dreams are just pizza I agree a lot of them are just uh, thoughts in our mind the Bible says a dream comes from the multitude of business sometimes uh, you just have a lot in your mind and your mind picks up things and portrays images and then plays them back to you so I understand that I mean even the Bible says that you can uh, dream that you're eating something but you wake up and you're still full so obviously the dream is not real and you're not really eating and in you know God didn't give you a dream you know to eat something so you'd be hungry the next morning so there are natural dreams that we have just through our soul life uh, through our physical senses and that's just normal. They're called soul dreams, actually. They're very common. Uh, there are false dreams. Uh, there's 25 major categories of dreams. And each of those categories is just a science within itself. And God uses the same patterns. I've seen many times, uh, I mean, I've been involved with this probably for, you know, 15 solid years of studying and understanding these areas because God's spoken to me many dreams. And, uh, you know, I've studied those that have had these dreams. And God follows pretty precise patterns. I mean, in dreams, airplanes usually have the same meaning. Lakes mean the same meaning. Rivers have the same meaning. Homes have the same meanings. Uh, cars, I mean, there's, there's variance within it. Just like there's uh, in the animal kingdom, you know, you've got dogs, but you have different breeds of dogs. But uh, basically in the dream field, in the dream language, there's a pretty overall consistency that you'll see. And it's really exciting. Dream interpretation is a science still that is completely unknown in our world. And that is because God gives new revelations every day. But I want to tell you this, that the Bible says if they speak not according to this word, it's because there's no light in them. And what that means basically is that God's revelations are always based on his word. I learned hundreds of scriptures um, before I even knew they were in the Bible because God would give me dreams and then I would find out that those things were actually in the scriptures themselves. And of course, one of the first times, you know, God ever, well, the first time he ever spoke to me, he gave me a scripture in the middle of the night that I didn't even know was in the Bible. Three days later, he gives me another scripture and I didn't know that was in the Bible, but I probably, I mean, I, actually, I did know it's Bible, I'm sorry. The first one, I had never heard of it, not even an inkling, no idea whatsoever. But the second one, I had heard it before, but I didn't know where it was, and then I found out where it was later on. Uh, same with my wife. You know, when my wife was sent to our present church, uh, Faith Church St. Louis, um, she was told to have Pastor David Crank pray for her, but she had never heard of Pastor David Crank. Uh, at the time, you know what I mean, she was sick, we had tried going to doctors, everything we did to try to get her better. She just kept getting worse. And here she has one dream to have this uh, pastor named Pastor David Crank pray for her. She doesn't know who Pastor David Crank is, and that changes our life, turned our life around. So there are certain dreams that God gives, and when he gives it, it's for a very specific purpose. And uh, anyways, it's awesome. Um, I have another uh, book out. Um, it's called... Uh, Seeing Your World Through Heaven's Eyes, uh, Volume 2 of Dreams in the Spirit. Excellent book. It has revelations. I mean, I saw the Iraqi War before it happened. Um, I saw President Bush in, in Airplane 1 with all his entourage around. You know, basically, as President of the United States, um, like two years before he was president, about a year and a half, I think. Uh, Perry Stone actually woke up one morning. 
he like leans over to his wife or something and says that the uh, governor of Texas is going to be the next uh, president of the United States. And, you know, how do you like that? He even runs into him in Israel, and uh, he even asked him. They, they have it on video. He says, have you ever thought about running for the president of the United States? And, you know, he kind of nods his head. So, you know, God has four nods. Things are seen before, and he knows the end from the beginning. I mean, he has all knowledge, all wisdom, all understanding. So it's not like, see, we live in a, you know, like on the outside of the circle. This is a great explanation of this that God is like in the inside of the circle, and he sees everything at the same time. He sees all around from, you know, from the past to the future and to eternity, because he's eternal. He's the only being that is eternal. Actually, he, let's see, I'm trying to think. We are m mortal, and, you know, we have immortality through, you know, the Spirit of Christ, but God has eternity within his very nature. You know, we don't have it unless it's imparted to us. Anyways, so God sees the end from the beginning. That's why you have what's called foreknowledge. God has foreknowledge. He knows things before they happen. And he can reveal them any time. And if you think about the book of Revelation, the book of Revelation, it was written 2,000 years ago, but it describes exact details of things that have still not yet even happened yet in the future. So it's really amazing. Um, at the time of uh, 911, I actually saw 911 take place before it ever took place. I uh, actually had a, a, a video out at the time. It was called uh, "Living in a Post 911 World," and uh, you know, uh, I saw you know two uh, doves fly into two buildings. A friend of mine saw two planes fly into two mountains, and a lady in Africa she saw uh, two planes fly into two huts. Now, why didn't God just give somebody a dream, a revelation, with two planes flying into two buildings? Because he gave a revelation. He hid it, but the revelation was there. If anyone had eyes to see, they could see what was going on. And, I mean, I wrote about it in, uh, in my volume one. In fact, I'll just read this on page 42. I mean, this was written in 1999, and it sounds like it's from a newspaper. It says... Uh, Look at this. It's important to be prepared for what is coming upon our earth. It says in Hebrews that God will shake everything that can be shaken. I once had a dream which I was following a little dove. It looked small and insignificant until it started to fly next to some large buildings. As it did, these buildings started to crumble and crash to the ground. It even says the dove flew right into one of them. Anyways, um, so, you know, dreams are awesome things. And that's why I believe that God's allowed me to write uh, I've written six books in the United States, and I'm just excited about it because, you know, I never knew I'd even write a book. In fact, the first time I even thought about writing a book, a friend of mine uh, I see at church, John Reichard, comes up to me and says, have you thought about uh, writing a book lately? And I'm like, why? He says, well, I had a dream, and I saw you writing a book. And I even had, like, this little ink quill uh, that had a feather on it, and I was just writing page after page. And I had actually written, like, 14 pages of this book already, and he had no idea. So that was the four nouns of God. Anyways, and uh, I've got a book called Kiss for the King. This book is really cool. It really is. Uh, it has a revelation in here that, that the Lord gave me, uh, sharing that we were the last generation before the return of Jesus Christ. And I actually, um, I've got a new book coming out, and it's called The Last Generation. And that book is going to be amazing. It should be out in about July of 2012. I've got another book coming out called Toxic uh, Resolution. It's going to help men with uh, issues of addiction like pornography, drug addiction, things like that. I'm real excited about that. Anyways, I've got a series called End Time Revelations. Uh, you know, this is really, it's uh, the Branson Family Chronicles. It's about a guy named Mark Branson and his uh, adventures. And, you know, a lot of this is true. About 60% of this is actually true, but I wrote it in a fiction style. So you'll read about certain end time revelations. It's exciting. So these books uh, are all available. Um, I actually, on my website, it's not actually connecting right now with PayPal. I should have it up in a little bit. But uh, if you just want to email me, bart underscore at yahoo.com, and just I'll work out the details to get you, you know, get these books in your hand, to, you know, get me paid, you know, $10 for any of my books I'm offering right now. Uh, I've got just right now six out in the United States, two getting ready to come out, uh, probably July 
of this year. I've got, you know, a couple that were translated overseas. And I just believe that God's given me these revelations to communicate to people. And I want to get them in your hand. You can go to my website at www.triumphantvision.com. God bless you.